Hello everyone, Dino Don here with the uh, update on the War Corsair project. Today's uh, June 26th, the day of my final inspection and airworthiness certificate. Uh, well, that's all done now. Uh, the guy's been here and did everything and it's gone. So now, what I got here is the paperwork. Here's my uh, aircraft registration. And here is my airworthiness certificate. And the limitations for the airplane, so that's what I needed. Uh, I didn't mention last time, but I do have my basic med now, so my medical exam is all done. Last thing I need to do is get this application filled out to get the mechanics certificate, which will allow me to do my own annuals. So all I got to do is fill this form out, return it to the guy, and he'll issue up a, a, a certificate for that. Uh, logbook entry is all taken care of. Airplane is now 100% legal to fly. So that's it, folks, in a nutshell. Uh, some of this stays in the airplane. These two stay in the airplane. This goes in my pilot's uh, logbook. And then uh, this mechanic certificate will be in my wallet after I get that back. Uh, these will stay with, uh, stay home. And then my logbook you carry with you with this. So, it's done folks. That's what we were after today right there. And then the rest of this paperwork is strictly the what I can and cannot do with this aircraft. So right now I'm on a 40 hour uh, test phase, phase one testing, which means I have to fly this airplane within a 25 mile radius of this airport for the first 40 hours. So I'll be working on that. So right now I got to uh, uh, probably this weekend, uh, today's Monday, this weekend I'll come back and I'll move the airplane over to its permanent hangar and then maybe I'll do another video then, but I'll get it out and taxi, taxi around then. Uh, today it's just thunderstorms all day long. So nothing's happening today. Plus, I forgot to bring the keys, <laughs> but I didn't need to uh, start it or anything. Um, what I did do is I got the uh, Gorilla tape, and I taped uh, the seams of the wings now. That's some really nice tape. I like that. If you need something that's kind of like a propeller tape, leading edge protective tape, this stuff is nice and thick, and, and it's pliable, and it's uh, strong. It's a Gorilla. Uh, and number on the planes done tags all done so it's finished folks we are ready to start testing again um, I'm not gonna be able to do anything till this weekend I got the pedo tube I uh, put in hooked up tested the airspeed works fine so everything's ready to rock and roll the only thing he recommended was on my airspeed indicator uh, if I know what some of the basic uh, speeds are like takeoff speed landing speeds flap speeds if I put little marks on there for now to uh, help along with that and it says not a problem I'll do that I'll get some little stickers and stick on there and then as I start flying and testing if they change I can always change them so he just suggested I do that <clears throat> so the guy's absolutely great uh, good inspector he's an old timer so he's been around a long time uh, his name is David Milo he works out of the FSDO FSDO from Pittsburgh and here comes the rain <clears throat> so but yeah um, he brought a a new guy with them to train so we got this all done so that's it folks we're ready to go I get my paper for it blows away <clears throat> all right I gotta take this home actually and read it get familiar with the uh, limitations and then I gotta bring them all back down here and stick them in the airplane so right now get that set aside I'll be closing this back up so there's my paperwork and I also made a uh, pilot's checklist so I got from takeoff, so from startup, just a simple little checklist. And this will be revised as I go along. So things may change, you know, speeds may change and such. And uh, when when I retract the gear, let put the gear down and so forth, and flaps, you know, when's the best time, what's the best speeds for flaps and all that stuff. So that only comes with the uh, phase one testing. So that's going to do it for this video, folks. Uh, just short and sweet. I'm ready to call a day and get home. And I'll be back this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, to move this plane around and get the hangar rent going and start paying for nothing. All right, folks, as always, feel free to leave any comments, questions, concerns. Uh, I've been answering them as I've been going along. And, again, my previous videos have been doing really well. Again, thanks to everybody for watching and following this. Now, remember, when I get this thing out and start practicing, it's gonna, I'm going to be doing a lot of ground handling. I mean, I'll be probably be doing hours. Um, I, I do still want to replace the master cylinders, but I, I want to get out and do some more testing, see what they feel like now with the uh, geometry train change I did to it, and then we'll go from there. But I do intend on 
replacing it so I get a little more pedal feel out of the brakes. Uh, but they do work. There's not a problem with them working. It just takes more pressure. But So, <clears throat> again, uh, thanks for watching these videos, everyone, and appreciate all the likes and comments. I try to read all the comments all the time, but some of these last videos were really high on comments, so a lot of them I just give you a thumbs up and let you know that I uh, I like the comment that I, I read them. So that's my indication of I've seen your, your comments. And then the ones I feel need addressed, I, I answer the questions. So, uh, and for anybody new right now, again, this is a half-scale replica built by, uh, plans are drawn by war aircraft replicas. So a lot of people keep asking, what scale is it? Is that a real one? No, it's not a real one. And it's not an RC model either. So it's a legal eagle now, so she's ready to fly. All right, folks, I'm going to cut her off here and uh, head for home. 45-minute drive home. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, next weekend. So for now, this is Dino Don out.